Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Sets video, this time featuring Saucebuck. Now, the winter form is my favorite, so that is going to be the background for the remainder of the slides, even though I know that in the first one that I did, when I did the initial analysis, I had a different one for every slide, but this is the coolest one to me. So, let's get things started like we always do, by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So first off, Saucebuck sports the very unique Normal Grass typing, which is a typing that is only shared by itself and its pre-evolution. Now while this isn't fantastic typing from the defensive side, since Normal and Grass don't really complement each other that well, it is awesome from an offensive standpoint because it allows Saucebuck to make use of some pretty powerful Normal and Grass type moves, and them both being stab obviously increases their power as well. But uh, just to point something out in case you missed this um, that somebody mentioned on the analysis video, the sauce in Saucebuck could potentially be an acronym for Summer, Autumn, Winter, Spring to represent the four seasons because as you can obviously see from this Pokemon, you know it has four different forms depending on the season that your game is in. But as for the uh, abilities, the first one that Saucebuck gets is known as Chlorophyll, which is an awesome ability that allows Saucebuck to double its speed under sun. And whether it is setting up its own sun by using Sunny Day or using... Uh, another teammates, whether it be like a Drought Ninetales or something like that, Saucebuck will definitely prove to be a very speedy and powerful attacker with this ability. As for its next ability, it is known as Sap Sipper, which is an ability that allows Saucebuck to not only gain an immunity to grass type moves, but also receive a plus one boost to its physical attack every time a grass type move is used against it. And this ability is probably one of the best abilities for Saucebuck to use because it does give you an immunity and also gives you a chance to boost your physical attack without actually having to boost your physical attack. And a plus one Saucebuck is a very, very dangerous threat. But as for its Dream World ability, Saucebuck is fortunate enough to get the Serene Grace ability, which is a pretty ridiculous ability that doubles the chance of secondary effects occurring. For example, Body Slam having a 30% to paralyze normally, with the Serene Grace ability it now has a 60% chance to paralyze. Unfortunately though, Saucebuck doesn't learn too many moves to make use of this ability. Um, it learns Energy Ball and Shadow Ball from the special side, but Saucebuck doesn't really have a great special attack. And from the physical side, it initially only learned Rock Smash, which is pretty cool, because you could always get a minus one defense drop because it's a 50% chance doubled. But luckily enough for Saucebuck, it did get Bounce as a black and white two move tier move, which definitely could have some use with Serene Grace. But as for its stats, um, it has 80 HP, 70 defense, and 70 special defense, meaning that overall, Saucebuck really won't be a defensive Pokemon, but it does have slightly above average defensive stats for a Pokemon that is primarily an attacker. So while it still won't be living a ton of hits, it is able to maybe take one or two before it goes down, whether they be you know a weak attack or not. Um, but as for its physical attack stat, it does have a nice base 100, which means that Saucebuck can definitely do some heavy damage from the physical side. However, it unfortunately only has a base 60 special attack, meaning that you probably won't be using any special attacking Saucebucks anytime soon, even though it does get work up to boost that. But as for its speed, it does have base 95, which is really great, meaning that Saucebuck will definitely be in the upper tier of speeds. Um, but unfortunately, you do have to be wary of a lot of the Pokemon that will be outspeeding this thing, because it doesn't have great defensive stats, so you pretty much have to know your base speeds to make use of it effectively. So it's 95 really isn't the highest base speed in the world, but it is pretty good. But with that, let's take a look at the first set that I have for you in this video. So first for this set, we're going to start by giving Saucebuck an adamant nature to increase its physical attack but lower its special attack, and then we'll be making use of the ability Sap Sipper, as a way to give us that immunity to grass type moves and also potentially gain a plus one attack boost from them. As for the EVs, we're going to put 4 into HP, 252 into our physical attack, and 252 EVs into speed to give us our highest physical attack and speed possible with the Atom in Nature. And as for the item, we're going to be going with a Life Orb to allow us to do some increased damage with all of our attacks. But as for the moveset, the first thing that we're going to be making use of is Agility as a way for Saucebuck to increase its speed by two stages. And once it does this, Saucebuck will obviously be very fast and very difficult to deal with. Along with this, we're going to be making use of two of Saucebuck's main attacking moves that it normally packs, which are that of Horn Leech and Return. Horn Leech is obviously amazing because it allows you to act as a physical Giga Drain, 
because it not only does damage from the grass side, but also recovers 50% of the damage that it does, which is really great when worked in combination with Life Orb because you can help to mitigate a lot of that recoil that is coming as a result of that move. And secondly, we're going to be going with Return as a way to just be a very powerful, normal type stat move. Now, Saucebuck also does learn Double Edge, but because of the fact that we are using a Life Orb, I don't really see the need to worry about two types of recoil. Even though Horn Leech can potentially help to recover some of that off, I would much rather go with Return. And for its last move slot, we're actually going to go with Baton Pass, which is a really unique option that Saucebuck has that not a lot of people make use of. And the whole purpose of this set is essentially to be offensive support. So basically what we're trying to do is not only sweep with Saucebuck if we have the opportunity to after we set up an agility and can start firing off some attacking moves, but once Saucebuck becomes too weak to stay in, we could baton pass that agility boost out to something else on your team, which is really nice because it allows that Pokemon to then come in and potentially deal some pretty heavy damage. Also, having the opportunity to come in on grass type moves and get a plus one physical attack boost not only adds to the baton pass, but it makes it really powerful as a tool that Saucebuck can use very effectively. So I suggest that this is a set that a lot of people try out for Saucebuck if they haven't really used this Pokemon ever, because it allows not only it to do a lot of damage, but potentially something else on your team as well. And I know that this might look kind of like a repeat of one of the uh, sets that I made in the analysis way back when, but because of the, I guess, more creative options that this set gets as opposed to a fully offensive one that makes use of another attacking move instead of Baton Pass, I felt like it was necessary to put in this video. As for this next set, we're going to be running a subseeding set on Saucebuck, which isn't too popular of an option, but it does have all the tools to make use of a subseeding set effectively, so I thought, why not put it here? So we're going to start things off by giving Saucebuck a Jolly Nature to increase its speed but lower its special attack, and then we could either go with the Sap Sipper or Serene Grace ability. As for the EVs, we're going to put 4 into HP, 252 into physical attack, and 252 speed EVs into this Pokemon to give it the same EV spread as before. The only difference is the Jolly Nature because we want Saucebuck to be a little bit faster on this set than on the previous one. And for the item, we're going to be using Leftovers as a way to recover a little bit of HP in between every turn. But for the moves, the first two that we're going to be making use of are obviously going to be Substitute and Leech Seed because it is a very powerful combination that works very well against Pokemon that obviously are not immune to Leech Seed like Grass types or other Pokemon with the Sap Sipper ability. And generally, because Saucebuck is very fast with the EV investment, you'll be able to subseed a lot of things effectively because you'll be able to set up substitutes before your opponents may be able to attack. Um, but for its other attacking moves, I would suggest for this set to only go with one stab option, either being Return or Horn Leech. And it is important to keep in mind that even though you do get that added recovery from Horn Leech, which is really nice since we are trying to, you know, subseed, um, Return is generally the better option in my opinion, because most things that are immune to Leech Seed are also weak or are also resisting the Horn Leech, whereas on the other hand, they most likely won't also be resisting Return. The only two Pokemon that are immune to Leech Seed and resist Return that come to mind are obviously Pokemon that may have the Sap Sipper ability, but in terms of typing, um, it would be Ferrothorn and Credilly. Um, but with that, we're also going to make use of the Black and White 2 move tutor move Bounce, which on a set like this has a triple function, which is really cool because it is a very effective move and a great addition for a subseeding set on Saucebuck. The first reason that Bounce is awesome for this set is because it makes Saucebuck immune for a turn as it bounces up. I think there's probably some attack move that hits it. I'm going to assume it's Thunder, but for the most part, Bounce will give you an immunity to all attacks for one turn, which is really great because it allows for more Leech Seed recovery on that turn and allows Saucebuck to dodge a potentially fatal attack. Another option why Bounce is so great, or another reason why Bounce is so great, excuse me, is because of the fact that it allows Saucebuck to generally more often than not, hit a Pokemon that is immune to Leech Seed for super effective damage, since the only Pokemon that do that are generally Grass types and the Sap Super Pokemon, as I've said like three times already. So more often than not, Bounce will be a super effective option against those Pokemon that would normally wall the subseeding portion of the set, and that is a great addition for it as well. 
And lastly, it is able to have that 30% chance to paralyze, which is really nice so that any potential Pokemon that want to come in against this Pokemon um, could potentially be statused. And the great thing about Paralysis is that it will allow your opponent to potentially be immobilized for a turn, thus giving you some more Leech Seed recovery and allowing you to set up a substitute even safer. Um, also, with the Serene Grace ability, if that is what you choose to do, Bounce will have a 60% chance to paralyze, which is really awesome. Um, the reason why you would go with Sap, or Sap Sipper is because of the immunity, obviously, but it's really up to you whichever one you want to use. I think using Serene Grace is just cooler, so I would go with that personally, but Sap Sipper is great because it does give you that immunity. Um, but with that, let's actually take a lo uh, look at some video footage I have of me using this set, and it shows how effective a uh, sorry, subseeding set could be on Saucebuck. So things in this clip start off with my uh, Kadabra dying to a Shadow Ball, but I'm able to bring in Saucebuck for the Revenge Kill. Unfortunately, my opponent didn't want to lose that Pokemon just yet, so switches out into Probopass, and I'm only able to do minimal damage to it from return. But luckily, I'm able to get up a sub, I end up blocking a T-Wave, which is really nice, and then set up Leech Seed on this Pokemon. As it Volt switches out, though, it goes into a Scraggy, which I Leech Seed as soon as it comes in, because these things can be incredibly dangerous. Um, and then I just go for returns until this thing dies a bit eventually. Um, I do eventually get a crit here, but in all honesty, it didn't really matter too much if on that turn it went for anything other than rest, because otherwise it would have died. Here this Chinchino comes in, and look how much damage that does. Thank God I had a sub up, because otherwise I was going to die. But I'm able to actually take out the Chinchino, then take out the Duozin, and now this uh, Probopass comes in, I least seed it again, and unfortunately it can't take me out with an Earth Power, so my Sauce Buck is then sitting at a good amount of health to basically finish out the match, and I win the game. Uh, so that was a pretty good example of, I guess, what this Pokemon can do with the subseeding set. I wasn't really able to show off how Bounce worked in that clip, but it worked really well otherwise. So that's all I'm really happy about. But anyways, thank you all for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed this Saucebuck video, and as always, take care and goodbye.